The Great Norfolk Pub Guide, in association with Lakens. It's about time. We ventured into deepest rural South Norfolk to Feltwell near Thetford to visit a place that until 2013 was known as the Wine Lodge, but after a massive refurb in March 2014, it reopened its doors as the Wellington, a name celebrating the county's history with the RAF and telling the story of one specific pilot's bravery during World War II. It's a little bit nippy out here, so let's get inside. We pride ourselves on being a really welcoming pub. Feltwell is quite a transient community. We have a lot of Americans that move through. We have quite a lot of people. It's a rural village. You've got people that work on the fields and things that come and go. So we're used to seeing fresh faces. It's a nice, friendly, welcoming environment. It's a wonderful pub. The only thing I was missing here in Norfolk, Suffolk area was a good pub. And then finally I have the Pub of my dreams, yeah. What keeps you coming back? Oh, it's a great pub. It's a clientele they have. They've always got something different on. The food's great as well, yeah. Have you got a favourite on the menu? Uh, yes, we fair, well, too. Yeah, uh, yeah. Yes, I've heard rumours. The way he's done it is absolutely brilliant. It brings back the history and the remembrance of brave people that served in the RAF in the Second World War. And I just think it's a lovely theme. I come to a pub for real ale. And these guys go through over 200 different types of real ale every year. And I just love that. Every time I come in here, it's a new real ale and it's always wonderful. The pub was originally built, the core of it anyway, in 1735. We bought it in 2013. It stayed with the Wine Lodge name from when it opened in the 80s until Gerald closed in 2013. But we didn't really feel it had much of a connection to Feltwell which is why we called it the Wellington, because Wellington bombers flew from Aria Feltwell through the entire Second World War, and we wanted to have a name that sort of tied in more with the village. And flying one of those Wellingtons in July 1941 was one Sergeant James Ward. Having taken fire whilst returning from a raid, James and his crew saw that one of their wings was on fire. They seemingly had two options, bail from the plane there and then, or limp as far as they could before ditching in enemy territory. Either choice would probably have seen them killed. So James Ward made the death-defying decision to crawl out of the plane and along the wing, mid-flight, towards the fire. Amazingly, he staunched the blaze before crawling back and nursing the stricken bomber home. The plane was so badly damaged it would never fly again, but James Ward somehow got it back to base, and his amazing bravery earned him the Victoria Cross. It's time to get to know you and your pub a little bit better. I've been practicing. Are you ready for your six of the best? I am indeed. Okay. What's the best time to visit your pub? I reckon after work. About five o'clock, half five in the evening. Can't beat it. All the guys are in for a pint after work. What's the best memory that you have of your pub? Without doubt, it's thinking the place is haunted because the ice machine was on and I could hear it three stories up and it sounded like someone was knocking on the door what? when there was no one else here. What's the best pint you serve? Oh, it's our almost home, which is one of our beers that tells the story of James Ward. What's the best dish on the menu? The Vegetable Wellington by Country Mile. What's the best hangover cure known to man? Weetabix, Baileys and banana. And finally, what is the best pub in Norfolk apart from your own? It's got to be the Feathers in Dersingham because I go there to have a, a swift half for me grandma when I'm passing through. Oh. Not too bad at all, thank you. <laughs> soaked up the bustling atmosphere of the bar, but since everyone has mentioned how good the food is, I thought it was time to sneak into the kitchen and track down the man, the myth, the legend that they call Chef. I've Hi, heard that the food in this establishment is second to none. Thank you very much. So I want to come and ask you a little bit about it. So what are your specialities? I can see you're getting stuck in to some stuff here. Um, so it's like gastro pub food, along with like traditional pub food, which we've always tried to do. So it's like sometimes a little bit posh of dishes, which are the ones that you're about to have. We also do a range of you know, many other things, down to fish and chips, you know, gourmet burgers, standard pub fare, really. My mouth is watering. All of this smells absolutely incredible. I'm really looking forward to what you're going to make for me. Thank you for having a chat. I will leave no you problem. to it. I don't want to invade your kitchen any longer. You're very welcome. Thank you. What 
Well, I can certainly vouch for both the friendly atmosphere and the incredible food here at the Wellington. These guys are all enjoying their real ales. I have a date with a vegetable Wellington. So cheers, guys. Cheers. cheers. The Great Norfolk Pub Guide, in association with Lakens. It's about time.